welcome back uh, this is a section for for installation where we are going to configure the data mat usually configure it last uh, because at times it does give some errors so go configuration console does take some time to look so so we'll go to file configure you can also use this process to reconfigure in case you've changed the server location the server name or you have changed the credentials you can use this process to come and configure again the legacy so since we had configured legacy, now we are going to configure the data mat. You click next. As you said, this is not a warning, so uh, an error. So we are going to go to next. Here, the database server is the server name. The username we are going to use SA. Password. And the database is dynamics as you can read here dynamics gp connection information the next part is the data bar the data mat connection information we are going to use sa again and the database we are going to use the ddm which is data mat so we're going to click next then configure it does take time, some time to configure so we give it we are going to pause and come back when it finishes uh, we can see it has finished configuring you can click close and now we'll have two we have the first one for data mat and the second one for dynamics so we're going to come to this and you can see the configurations we're also going to import companies for this so we're going to click import for the data mat so we're going to use SA and then we click OK. And then we click Import Companies. For Fabricum, it can't be imported. So at least from there, you can know how to do the integration. We can also enable integration. It's going to take some time. And as it in, uh, enables integration, you can do notification okay. settings. And for the settings, you can see you can be able to set uh, the settings to be sent. The SMTP server, email from, email to, and the port number. So, yeah. and you can save the settings you can have the settings send as a summary daily and you can have it run weekly as you can see it's now preparing the integration process The reason you can't view the company is imported because I've set my window to be a small window for recording purposes. So let's see, import. And now you can see uh, it has been imported successfully. 
into the data mat. So that's configuring data mat. You can view the other settings on how you're going to configure them by the administrator, who has the SMTP server, the email, and the SMTP port. Thank you for joining the session.